right, so today I want to show you a product that might help me and might help you. Okay, so I always wanted to play an instrument. And so what do I choose? I recently got a violin. Uh, not a very good idea for someone who does not know anything about um, any kind of instruments. So this just came in the mail, and let's check it out. This is supposed to help you play the violin. For $10, I ordered this thing from a company called FretlessFingerGuides.com. And wow, I didn't even realize it. They gave me a big poster. And hopefully this will help me because a violin is not that easy, especially on the fretboard. It's just, I mean, absolutely. Is that even called a fretboard? I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely so hard to figure out, especially like a guitar would be easier because you have like a reference points of where to put your fingers, but a violin, no. So they gave me this big poster and apparently um, it's going to help me. Hopefully, um, it says find all the violin note locations for any first position song scale or sheet music. Now they have a website and they do some YouTube videos. So I'm going to check that out as well. And so here it is. So this is uh, actually um, the fretless uh, finger guide. And uh, it says violin tuna, how to use it, how to put it on, color coded scales, instructional videos, color coded music sheet. If you have any questions, they're here to help. And uh, interesting. So I'm going to go on this website, which is fretlessfingerguides.com for more information. And so here it is. So this goes on your violin. And the reason why I chose it is because all the other ones that they're selling on the internet are stickers that actually can damage your violin. Um, the sticky stuff, if you wanna remove it, that's the end of your beautiful, um, pristine, clean violin. So this is like, it works like almost like saran wrap and it clings to itself. So let's uh, try to install it now. So I got the violin out, and this is one of those, uh, you know, inexpensive Amazon violins. It's not a Stradivarius, and it's not a ten, twenty thousand dollar instrument. But still, even though I paid um, one hundred and nine dollars with tax, I don't want um, anything to get messed up. So that's why I chose this. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You have to peel it off. So here's directions. Step one: remove the vinyl guide from the white paper backing. Save the backing sheet for later use. Because guess what? You can actually reuse this which is great. Um, step three, uh, oh, actually, slide the guide under all the strings and over the fingerboard. What's great is you don't have to remove the strings to put this on. That was one of my concerns because I don't know how to change strings on a violin. All right, so slide the top of the guide up to the nut. I guess it's right where that little stop line is right there. And uh, the small piece of hard material that supports the strings at the end closes to the peg box which again is right there. Uh, let's see, position the two red center marking. Okay, oh great, it has a center marking right there. You see that little red line? So now you know right where the center is of this, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> the fret, um, the bridge, the bridge. Yeah, the bridge. Um, let's see, it says, uh, position the two red center marking uh, markers on the guide, one at the top and one at the bottom. Oh, there is one at the bottom, excellent in the center of the middle of the two strings. How hard could that be? All right, uh, well, I can screw anything up. Stretch one flap over the back of the neck, press and smooth flat so there's no bubbles. All right, you know what? Let's try this on camera. It has this for a close up. All right, so you're supposed to remove this from the backing and why I'm wearing gloves is because I do not want fingerprints on my brand new violin. Um, yeah, weird, but I'm very like eccentric and OCD about these things. There we go. All right, and I am so nervous right now over this. Can you imagine? Okay, now we're gonna, oh, okay, it's not even sticking to my fingers. That's actually a plus. All right, so we're gonna slide it under the strings. Let me get right down the center with that red line. And I think I got it. And then line up the other red line at the bottom right there. All right, this looks about even to me. And now, voila, let's see, put one tab under the back and the other tab over the other one and smooth it out, it says, flip it over. Okay, get this baby to cling. And what's great is you can take it off at any time. Oh, okay, all right, let's check into this now. Now, um, is everything lined up right? It definitely looks like that to me. Um, again, but what do I know? Um, 
Yeah, it looks pretty centered. Uh, actually, let's see. Yeah, it looks centered to me. All right, so now this is wonderful. Cute thing is they give you a first song that you're going to be able to play. So let's see. It's called Marianne. And well, I can't even play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So we'll see how this goes. Now, I'm not going to do the video tonight because I am still actually intimidated by this instrument. Absolutely intimidated. This one, by the way, was made by E-Star and I bought it on Amazon. It was a uh, hundred and ten dollars with ten dollars off so it came out to a hundred dollars and then with tax it was like 109 something and uh what happened is east star made a screw up i was supposed to get two bridges these little things here two wooden bridges and two sets of strings and they only gave me one set of strings and they only gave me one bridge so i contacted them and i was sort of you know per, uh, perturbed over that and uh, they were actually kind enough to tell me they would give me five dollars back um, for my trouble to buy a new bridge and a new uh, set of strings. And I said, $5? What could you get for $5? I said, no, I want $30 um, because that would probably be enough to buy a new set of strings and uh, one of these little maple bridges. And they did. They gave me actually $30 with tax. They gave me $32.59. And uh, it's uh, being reversed and put on my credit card. So I had to uh, go out and buy a new set of strings and uh, a new bridge to make this uh, whole outfit here that I got equal. All right, so what do I think of the fretless, um, the actually fretless finger guides company? Um, they are great. As a matter of fact, they shipped it to me in an envelope. And after I placed the order, they contacted me and asked if my um, information for shipping was correct. And they wanted to uh, make sure that I could receive regular mail in a mailbox and told me it would be coming in an envelope. So if you get any envelopes in the mail, not to throw it out. That's how conscientious they are uh, to make sure that you get um, the fretless uh, finger guides um, without throwing it out in the garbage. Honestly, a lot of times they do throw mail in the garbage. And that was a good idea that they contacted me. So uh, again, if you want to uh, buy this, you can get it on Amazon. And you can also get it on eBay and other websites, their website as well. Again, fretlessfingerguides.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Hopefully, I will be able to play. Now, if you look, now you know where to position your fingers. Plus, you got that nice, really cool poster. That should help. And there we go. I'll show you. So we have the exact positioning uh, for your fingers. And you know where uh, each one of the... Uh, letters uh, are and I don't even know what you call that is that a chord I, I what do I know I don't even know how to play the rubber band banjo but hopefully because of fretless finger guides I will be playing something pretty soon especially the song Marianne don't know what that is but hopefully this thing will help me thanks for watching I'll see you guys all soon and uh, when I do a video um, with me playing um, again, um, I'm going to probably be thanking the Lord. I ordered uh, fretless finger guides. <laughs> so long. Um...